You guys have no idea how much I have struggled with straightening my natural hair or even just wearing my natural hair in the Florida humidity. It is really, really difficult, uh, especially when, um, you know, we can have anywhere from 90 to 80% humidity, especially in the mornings. It's just like, as soon as you walk outside, whatever you did to your hair, it's just like, it just goes away. So a lot of the times, and you guys see on most of my videos, I'll either be wearing um, some type of wig and also I think wigs are the best protective style especially if you're trying to grow out your hair um, but if you finally do want to you know wear your actual hair out after you know babying it and helping it grow out for so long then there are definitely like a couple products that I think will be really 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 helpful and that have completely changed everything for me like I was really struggling before I found these and so some of them are kind of weird um, so just bear with me. <laughs> um, I think the first one and the most important one um, is just a smoothing straightening balm. This is from Lanza and I want to say, and I need to see how much I paid for this. I think it took me a while to finally like pull the trigger and buy this because it was kind of expensive and I was like I don't even know if this is going to work. So okay, so it's about $30. Um, so it's not, I've seen some for like 50, um, but still, uh, it's $30. It's going to last probably, I would say six to eight months. Um, that's if you're straightening your hair maybe once or twice a month, which I really don't recommend you washing your hair and straightening it more than once a month. If you have natural hair, just depending on how curly your hair is, um, because that could just be really damaging and you probably want to grow your hair out and also retain the length. And so just be really careful. So if you're using it for one to two washes, you'll be fine. Um, it'll like last a really long time, but basically the way this works is that it's activated with heat. So usually I would never blow dry my hair. I just let it air dry, but you have to blow dry to activate this. And so what I do is like, um, you put it on your hair while wet. You only use this when your hair is wet. Um, so after you get out of the shower, this is your like a leave-in conditioner kind of thing. And I do sections. So I'll section my hair in four different sections, just kind of down the middle like this and put it all through out the curls and um, just brush it out. And then what I do is I use a brush and I just basically hold my curls out and then I take the blow dryer and I just go back and forth and back and forth. Basically it's helping you to get like a blowout. I don't like it when people use like the round brush and they're brushing and they're blow drying and they're brushing and they're blow drying. To me, that's just manipulating the hair a lot and your hair is the most fragile when it's wet. So again, if you just grew out your hair or if you're trying to retain your length, then um, if you're gonna put heat on it like that, I would definitely just be careful. So that's what I do. I just do the, I stretch out the curls and then I just blow dry like that. And um, that helps activate this smoothing balm. And then after that, after every, all the sections are done, then I go in and um, I, uh, well, you should already put on heat protectant. I believe this has heat protectant in it as well, but I still put on more um, before I'm about to flat iron. So I think this is a good heat protectant before if you're about to blow dry or something, but this one, if you're about to put like 350 to 400 degrees of heat on your hair, um, just use another one. Um, so this is like a, just an aerosol. It's by Moroccan. I'll have the links to all these products, but I just like it cause it's not heavy on your hair. So if you're gonna have your hair straight, it's not gonna make like the pieces stick together. So yeah, then I just go piece by piece and flat iron. The great thing about using this is that it cuts your flat ironing time in half. Like things will, your hair will dry quicker and it will straighten quicker. So you only have to use like a couple passes, like maybe one or two with your flat iron to get your hair straight. All in all, I think this is the most important product for if you're living in somewhere that has really high humidity and you wanna wear your natural hair straight. So this is just a smoother straightening balm. Yeah, and it's really great. I think they have other products, but I haven't used them yet. So this is just the one that I really swear by. Um, another, if you guys wanted to know like a really good um, conditioner that will help uh, just basically smooth out your hair, make your hair feel like butter and make it more manageable. You could do this as a deep conditioner, like get out of the shower, put it in your hair and then wrap your hair in a baggie and sit under a dryer for like 15 minutes or maybe just put the blow dryer on your hair with the baggie on your hair, just like to let the heat and let it um, open up your cuticles, your hair cuticles, let everything um, just set in. You can do that or you can just put it in for like five minutes and then rinse it out. It works really good either way, but this is, Repair Solutions, it's a deep daily conditioning um, conditioner. It says repair on it. 
I got this one from Sally's um, because I just needed it right away, but you can also get it on Amazon and probably for cheaper. Um, but yeah, it's just a professional secret to beautiful hair. Um, I don't know. It's for damaged, weak hair, dry hair. Um, I just think it's great. It just works really, really, really well. Whether you have damaged hair or not, um, I just highly recommend this. This bottle, again, it'll probably last you a year, if not longer. This one is like 33 ounces. So like this is the big one. Um, and then this is gonna be really weird, but um, I dyed my hair uh, about a month and a half or two months ago. And what I used was Cream of Nature. Um, I got this one on Amazon, but if you guys can find it in Sally's, the first time I dyed my hair, um, I used Cream of Nature and it's obviously you can see this one, but it was different because it had plus argan oil. So if you guys are at like, a, just any type of hair store, whatever, and it has the one with this same one by Cream of Nature, but with argan oil, that one's really, really good. This one is still great. I used it to touch up my roots just this last past hair wash over a week ago. Um, and that's when I noticed, oh, this is their old one. So they're phasing this one out. So when I ordered it on Amazon, they still have the one that has the shea butter. Like I said, both work well, but the other one has argan oil and it comes with an argan oil little um, tube and the tube lasts forever. So don't throw away the argan oil. It's really, really helpful for your hair. Um, I use it on, usually when my hair is like wet, I'll put a little bit in it, just a little bit. Um, but around my edges, when my hair is dry, I'll put it and it'll basically um, like soften your edges, especially if they're frizzy or dry or whatever. So I highly, highly recommend this. This is C41 Honey Blonde. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I went from, you guys saw my hair before, it was like a dark, yeah, it was like a black, uh, what color black? I don't know. You guys saw videos of my hair. <laughs> um, and so it just took it and, um, it lightened it. It didn't use like bleach or anything. They have another one that is like a reddish blonde and that one uses bleach. This one just, um, yeah, what does this one use? I mean, it lightens, but like only so much. Like you don't have to do like a powder bleach or anything. It just has the developer and then the liquid color. But um, I just wanted you guys to see the color. But the conditioner that comes with this is also really, really good. So <laughs> this is kind of like a hack I've learned throughout the years. If, you're, if your hair is like getting used to like your other products or if you're just having a really, really hard time with your hair, maybe it's just not doing what you want it to do or it, it always feels kind of like dry or brittle after you wash it. Even if you don't want to um, dye your hair, just buy a box. This box is like three to four dollars. Buy a box of hair dye like this and then use the conditioner that's in there. Usually that conditioner conditioner it'll make your hair feel like you just left the salon like I don't know what they're doing um so the cream of nature one I like I said I prefer the one that has the argan oil but I ordered this second box off of Amazon instead of getting it in person so if you see it out in your store in person and it has the argan oil one on there get it um they're starting to phase out this one that has the shea butter but to be honest I just used this one and it still worked great but I just feel like the argan oil one is like the perfect one and it comes with the argan oil so it has the argan oil in the conditioner that comes with it in the packet and then it also has an argan oil little tube and keep that tube um there's no way you would ever like use that tube like a little goes a long way with the argan oil it's just really really good quality if you buy any of these products i think you'll especially if you're about to straighten out your hair um you'll be happy and you'll see a difference because um it's just i've really struggled with my hair here just with the climate it's just it looked awful it felt awful as soon as i'd go outside it'd get really really frizzy um it wouldn't keep any style and now i think it's feeling much better this is about seven day hair not only that but i was sleeping usually i wrap my hair up and i use a silk bonnet well i didn't have my silk bonnet and i was um away from home and so i was sleeping on just a cotton um a cotton pillowcase for like five nights it was four or five nights and basically my hair still looks like this so even if you mess it up and you're sleeping on cotton instead of like a silk pillowcase or having your hair in a bonnet it still will look really really good um obviously my hair looked way better before that and it would have looked better if i was able to preserve it long term but you know it happens um but yeah all these products i really really recommend and um yeah this is just this one is kind of pricey this is the moroccan oil um heat protectant it's good for 450 degrees or 230 celsius and um i wanted this one because it's an aerosol before i was using turn up the heat which is like a 
kind of looks like an oil-based um, heat protectant and that one can really weigh down your hair so it's like it's okay sometimes but I just preferred the aerosol and it's been doing its job so um, if you're on the lookout for a new heat protectant then I recommend this one but if your heat protectant isn't bothering you or if it's working then don't worry about this I don't feel like this is like a must-have like it's gonna completely change your hair um, it's just I feel like these are more likely just like to change your hair completely and um, make it more manageable and allow you to do whatever you want to do with it 